Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I want to teach you how to program macros for your mechanical keyboard using this driver from Epo Maker. Now many keyboard makers actually use the same driver, so if your driver looks similar to the one that I have on the screen right now, maybe you can follow along with this tutorial as well. If you don't know what macros are, well, a macro is a sequence of keyboard shortcuts that are run one after another, and macros are great for repetitive tasks. The macro programming functionality provided by this driver is very detailed and very specific. Let me give you a quick demo of the macro that I will create. So after making a selection, the macro will soften the edges and remove the background. So this is the macro I can use repeatedly for other images to remove the background. The gist of macro programming is you press start to record, then you enter the keyboard shortcuts in sequence and you press stop and save. This driver will record the up and down states for the key and also the time delay. And if you need to change the keys or the time delay, you can click on the button, click modify to input your own value. So that's how much control you have over macro programming. And this can be quite intimidating. But the most important thing to know is these three controls up here. So for loop, this is quite straightforward. I have set the macro to loop only one time when I press the keyboard shortcut. For button control on and off, it means when you press the keyboard shortcut, the macros will run forever until you press the button again. For touch repeat, it means the macros will run for as long as the button is held down until you release the button. Because time delay is not important for me, so I can actually check box this here and fix the time delay to one millisecond for all these keys. Let me show you the sequence of shortcuts I want to program as a macro before I show you how to program it with the driver. So this is Adobe Photoshop and let me unlock this layer first. So what I want to do is make a selection of this book that's on the table and I want to press Ctrl Enter to make a selection, Ctrl Shift minus to contract the selection, press 2 for 2 pixels, Enter, Ctrl Alternate D to feather for 2 pixels, press 2, Enter, Ctrl Shift I to reverse the selection, Ctrl X to delete away the background and this is the sequence of shortcuts I want to program into a single button. To create a macro with the driver, first click the little icon here to create a new macro and I'm going to set the macro to loop just one time and the time delay is not important so I'm going to set the time delay to a fixed one millisecond and now I can start recording my macro. So the first shortcut is Control enter Now if you enter any wrong keys here, you can press stop and clear the selection or the keys and start again. So the first shortcut is Control enter to create a selection. Control shift minus to contract the selection by 2 pixels, enter. Control alternate D to feather by 2 pixels, enter. Control shift i to inverse the selection, Control x to delete the background, and that's it. Press stop and press save. Go to the main tab here, toggle this so that you can create a function shortcut. I'm going to assign this to F7, more specifically function F7. So under the macro tab here, you can select the macro that you have created. Oh, actually I should have renamed that, but let's just uh, check or select this. So each time you update the macro, you have to come back here to assign it to the button again. So now I'm back in Photoshop and I have just drawn a pen path for this book. So now I'm going to press function F7 to run the macro. It is possible to assign the macro to just function F7, but I prefer function F7. So function F7. As you can see, the macro ran in an instant to remove the background. 
I have just drawn a pen path around the cat and the mine. So now I'm going to run the same macro again by pressing function F7. And again, it removed the background. So instead of pressing those keyboard shortcuts in sequence again, you can group them into a macro and assign it to a shortcut button here. So that can be quite convenient. 